I'm going to start with regionalizing this joint. So in the elbow, there are was broken down into four quadrants. We have the anterior, the medial, the lateral, and the posterior. Generally, from a clinical perspective, um, you're going to focus your exam to the region of concern in terms of what you're clinically suspecting. Um, for tonight's purpose, I'm going to run through the pro just base level protocols for all four quadrants, and I'm sure we're going to deviate, you know, as, as some Q and as some questions come in and. And I think we have some, you know, Q&A trivia things planned as well. And, and we, we're going to engage you all in as we go with the anatomy. So to start off, we're going to start with the anterior section of the elbow. And let's give a shout out to Catherine Barr coming out from Pittsburgh. All right. Thanks for coming out. We got Northeast Arkansas from Jim Ferris. All right. Hey, Jim. Jim. Brian Miller coming in from California. Oh, we got... Uh, we got people coming in from Canada. This is great. Sharish, good to see you in here from Indiana. All right, cool on. Let's let's hit the scenes. Yeah, and also too, if you guys wouldn't mind, um, throw your level of experience with ultrasound in, whether you're you have none, a little bit, novice, intermediate, advanced. Um, that, that would be great as well. So as we navigate here, as you can see, my probe is positioned cross-sectionally to the um, roughly in the antecubital fossa, and I'm going to freeze the transducer. Let's start off with just orient orienting ourselves. So we are cross sectional at the antecubital fossa. When you're reading a, when you're reading an image, the first line on the bone. So if you start on the bottom of the screen and you just fix your eyes up, the first thing you should see is bone, which is this cortical, this bright white line right in the middle. Okay, and you see it's kind of double double edge here. This is hyaline cartilage of the distal capitellum. This is kind of our home base in the anterior elbow. The the big muscle right adjacent to the bone, that's the brachialis. And on the top is the biceps brachii. Um, let me see if I can have a cursor here. So biceps brachii is on the tip top here. It's the most anterior facing, most superficial structure at this section of the elbow. Coming down this whole thing, this is all brachialis. And I was describing the distal capitellum from medial to lateral, this cortical outline, that's the, that's the bone. And then this dark line, this dark line you see, that's hyaline cartilage. Hyaline cartilage is high in water content, which is why it's dark on the ultrasound, similar to muscle. So muscle has, it's, it's a hydrated structure, so it's going to have a mix of hyper and hypoechoic uh, echo texture to it. Now I'm going to unfreeze. And now let's, let's navigate. Now that we have kind of our central structures lined up, I'm going to move a little bit medially. And I'm going to pause. I'm going to pause right here. And just draw out where we're at. So this is the brachial artery. This hypoechoic circumferential outline. This is the median nerve. This is all still brachialis. Brachialis is kind of like home base of the anterior elbow. And often the medial side here, this is pronator teres. And we're still in short axis. Okay, so we're still getting our bearings. So now I'm going to go out to the lateral side. Laterally. So we're at the level of the capitellum, just proximal to the radiocapitellar joint. And let's orient ourselves here. Okay, we're still hyaline cartilage, distal humerus. You're looking at the radial nerve right here, where the arrow is. 
This is all still brachialis medial to it. And then over here, this is all brachioradialis muscle. <laughs>